the tension with the owner, with the coach, and Al Pacino, I thought he was extraordinary in it. I thought he did a, I thought he did a great job uh, and really, uh, I thought, captured the whole, lo- the essence of the locker room, the speeches, and, and all that, and trying to reach the player on the field, particularly uh, Jamie Foxx. I got a call on the film, uh, and I never considered it for a couple of reasons. One, I was like, you know, I don't really want to go do a football movie. Uh, two is part of the movie was based on the book uh, It's Just a Bruise, written by Rob Heisinga, who is an internist uh, fresh out of med school at Harvard yeah. uh, with us, with the Raiders. And he was just shocked at, you know, how our, our whole medical process took place. And Dr. Rosenfeld was the doctor that he was kind of butting heads with. And we had a philosophy and they listen, you know, here's the way I look at it. I like Dr. Rosenfeld. Dr. Rosenfeld had a job and I knew what his job was. His job was to get us on the field. Uh, You shot a lot of players up in those days and you made a lot of decisions for yourself as a player. I made those decisions. You know, Dr. Rosenfeld didn't say, get on the field, you have to get on the field. At the, end of the, stopping at the end of the day, I make the decision. There was one, one situation that was really botched and mishandled was, uh, I, I felt like I strained my calf, my calf, something popped uh, at the Coliseum Plan Miami. I'm, I'm on Dwight Stevenson down on the nose, double reduce. I remember it like it was yesterday. And, and that first step where you and bang, something goes in your calf. And they, we were, for two weeks, we were draining it and draining it. And they were telling me it's just a bruise. And, you know, that's yeah. the title of the book. It's just a bruise. So I get an MRI and, and you all could only see the team doctor at that time mm. in the no NFL. No second opinion. No second yeah. opinions, nothing. So you got what information he wanted to give you. Um, What ended up happening was I didn't get the information on the MRI. So I go to the same breakfast place I stop at every day, get a full breakfast, pull into the facility. They tell me I got to rush to the hospital. I have a blood clot in my calf. I wake up with a 10 inch zipper on my calf and there's no, no, virtually no calf. And you got no calf now. (laughs) Right. Right. One of your calves is like, yeah. Well, it's a 10-inch zipper. Yeah, it's like totally deflated compared to the other one. Yeah. Was Rob Heisinga supposed to be James Woods? No, Dr. Rosenfeld was James Woods. The young doctor was 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 Rob Heisinga. Rob Heisinga. And Rob Heisinga was, I liked him. It's funny because he was a wrestler in college. Mm -hmm. And to give you kind of an idea of what the organization was like at that time, uh, I'll never forget we were in the training room and he was telling me he was an all-American wrestler in college, but obviously not in the same weight class. Mm Mm-hmm. So at that time, you know, I feel like I'm bulletproof. I said, okay, put me in your, put me in your best move. Mm-hmm. And we're in a training room. Just, there's just two or three of us in the training room. He puts me in his best move. I'm starting to throw him around. And an executive walks in. He picks up a scalpel because we had this magnetic thing. And it was stuck yeah, to him. Yeah. He grabs a scalpel and says, don't ever f- touch him. <laughs> if you touch him again, I'll f- stab you. It's a lot easier to get doctors than it is uh-huh. all pro defensive ends. Nice. I was <laughs> kind of wondering. And what we both doing. kind of like, didn't you mean you'd fire me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. That happened. What about, were there any guys in the movie characters that reminded you of anybody you play with? I would say probably Lawrence. You know, I mean, Lawrence is. You seem most realistic. Yeah. Lawrence was the most, <laughs> Lawrence was the most realistic. And I, you know, Lawrence was. I, I don't want to say that was Lawrence because I, I didn't play with Lawrence and I don't, I don't, I don't have that kind of perspective. But I mean, from the on the outside looking in, Lawrence went to a place mentally that very few players get to. You know, he from it's like Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott, you know, when it buckled up, Ronnie's one guy here and he's another guy when it buckles up. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I remember just putting Ronnie's chin strap back on in the huddle. He's just so knocked out. Yeah. You know, he really was. And what an extraordinary guy. Ronnie Lott is as good a man as you'll ever run into.